Good morning, friends. It's uh, 9.15 in the morning. My kitchen's a mess. I'm a mess. It's outside's a mess from all the rain. But I'm here prepping up my three boys, Mason, Sam, and Jude, some food to take back this week. Mason came back home this weekend. Uh, Maddie came back home. Also, um, my nephew and his wife, Baby shower was yesterday at Chill Coffee Country Club. We had a beautiful shower. Baby shower, the baby's due in October. They're having a little boy, but they do not have a name picked out. So Maddie and I went to the shower yesterday and I'm not sure what the boys did. But anyway, I ended up prepping. The breakfast casserole last week was a big hit. So I'm prepping up again. More food for him, Mason to take back this week. So boys, I love you and I hope you like what I'm cooking for you today. So anyway, I've already, um, I've been up for a while. I've already prepped up another breakfast casserole. That was a big hit. Made it the same as last week, except I added a little um, fresh spinach to it this week. So made the same way as that video last week. Just, um, like I said, added the fresh spinach. So what, what I'm doing now is I'm making a... Um, zucchini lasagna low carb um zucchini lasagna so what i did this morning prep wise i ground my ground beef you can use ground turkey ground chicken ground pork whatever you want so i had some ground beef so i got that so i also took my zucchini now this is two big zucchinis now i cut it chunky like me so um you want to be able to taste that so do a little chunky like Krista, but if you have kids and you're not sure if they'd like zucchini, cut it like a supermodel. They'll never know it's there. Super thin. And it'll probably blend into the background. So there's my two zucchini. What I did was I added a little bit of water to this bowl. I covered it, put it in the microwave for six minutes because I wanted that zucchini soft. This is a Place of your noodles so you could boil it if you want like your noodles I just threw it in the microwave I'm all about quick easy recipes for you that you can do and get on with your life so inside of here in my skillet I have some onions some garlic and I cooked down the rest of the spinach that I did not put into their breakfast casserole so now I'm just gonna even though I put that in the microwave my kitchen's a mess. I need a sous chef to come and clean up after me. I ain't never want to have it. No, I always say Brock does dishes sometimes. He does dishes a lot, so I should say that. But with this big mess, I probably wouldn't expect to use dishes. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm probably going to split this up. I'm gonna, I've got a, one of the takeaway pans for the kids, and then I may take a small pan for Brock and I. So it's kind of like two for one, one for the boys and then one for us to have this week. So I've got that zucchini going in there. I'm just going to let all that warm up because I'm just going to do this all in one pan. One pan, then transfer it to your baking dish. I have my oven set for 375, so I just thought I would bake their breakfast casserole and the zucchini um, lasagna at the same time. Okay, this is a favorite of ours. Of the family, my kids love this. This is really a great way for you to pack a lot of vegetables into a dish. So. The boys like to walk out and um, they play baseball and um, oh, they're just so cute. So anyway, I like to get them lots of veggies. They like their veggies. Okay, so I'm going to um, hit this up with some SPG. Know it, love it, get it. My favorite. There we go. I'm going to SPG that. Now I'm gonna, what I want to need to do is make sure that there's not much moisture left in that zucchini because it can produce quite a bit of moisture. You hear my banny rooster? He's on the back patio because it's raining. He likes to hang out up here when it rains. Because he likes to get in and out of the chicken coop. We don't know, he's like a little Houdini. We always have one or two chickens that can figure out how to escape and they kind of go and come and go. And at night, he usually sleeps with the goats. So, he just kind of roams around the yard. 
I would let them all go free, but I'm always afraid. You know, our dogs don't bother them. They've been trained, but you never know. Something will come in, and I, I'd hate to lose my, my friends. Okay. So there we've got that going. So I think it's soft enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in the ground beef back in. And, uh, oh, that ground beef was greasy, like some of your excess. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got, didn't get the uh, ground chuck or what I bought. Tell you what, hamburger's getting expensive, kids. I mean, everything's expensive. So, trying to think of things. You know, this is a meal that you can stretch. You can make one meal, freeze the other, because this makes a huge skillet here. Let me show you here what I got on. I don't even have all the ground beef in yet. Look at this. Mmm, doesn't that look good? So what I want to do is I want to taste it to see if I need to add any more salt or anything like that. Takes time. Looks like I'm getting some texts from my cousins. I'll check in with them later. I'm going to grab some Italian season. Evidently, I don't know my alphabet because that took me a, quite a while to find the Italian seasoning. I have them all alphabet, in alphabetic order. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Some days you have it, some days you don't. Okay, a little bit of Italian seasoning. Well, looks like my cousins are busy this morning. It's my cousin Beth, my cousin Jason. We're first cousins on my mom's side. And we check in with each other. My cousin Jason's been laying uh, flagstone. He did like a flagstone driveway and walkway. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But the work, mm, the long child. Mm -mm. That's a lot of work. We're all getting too old for that. So anyway, it looks beautiful. But I'm at, I don't know what they're texting about. But I was just filling you in on that. Maddie uh, went home last night. Oh, sorry. I'm adding uh, one jar of whatever, whatever kind of spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. This is from, I think this is from Save-A-Lot, I think. And it's really good, because I don't usually have to add much to that. Make your own. If you like that time, and you want to wilt down your tomatoes, and you want to do all of that, that's fine. You do you. I'm trying to give you a quick, easy recipe here. Okay, so back to Maddie. Maddie got went home yesterday. Tried to get her to stay. I tried to lure her in with delicious foods and treats, but she had to get back. She came home because her best friend um, got her tickets to the Van Gogh experience. She enjoyed that, loved that, went to that Friday. And then she helped us at the shop Saturday. And then uh, yesterday we went to the baby shower and she drove home last night. It's about a three hour drive for her and I hate when she drives that but she made it home safe and sound. She went home because she had to she's got to teach tomorrow so she wanted to get her lessons plans in place. Okay. Next comes the cottage cheese. Any kind of cottage cheese you want. Doesn't matter. I like to, when I make a big thing like this, I like to use a whole tub of cottage cheese. My family, Maddie and I like ricotta. The boys don't. So, just to keep the peace, make everybody happy, I just use cottage cheese. You can use ricotta. Don't forget, ricotta doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. So, season it up a little bit before you use your ricotta. Okay. This is it. One pan, kids. So easy. It's a favorite. I'm hoping the boys will love it. Let me show you here what I got. Looky there. That's a man-sized pan of 
zucchini lasagna. Like I said, it's got some fresh spinach in there. We got the ground beef. We got the cottage cheese. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now, once I add transfer this into my baking dish, I will top it with additional Parmesan cheese and probably more Italian seasoning on top. Now, listen, guys, if you want to do this, this is ready to eat right now. You can eat this right out of the skillet. You don't need to bake it. You don't need to do anything else to it. It's delicious just like this. Very quick, low carb. I call it, I call it zucchini lasagna because that's just what I've always called it. You could call it anything you want, but that's what I call it. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to finish this up, get it in the pan, get it in the oven, get it ready for the boys. I'm going to keep out, like I said, some for Brock and I for this week. That's it at Chris's Country Kitchen. I hope you have a great week and um, a great holiday. And um, bye, kids. I love you if you watch it. Hope you enjoy your food. Bye.